The Christmas Box by Joanne Stewart Wetzel, illustrated by Barry Root. Author's note, this is a true story. In 1952, my father was set, sent to Kyushu, Japan with the United States Air Force. While many American families were able to live in Japan that year, there wasn't enough housing in Kyushu for everyone. This time, we had to stay at home. Many years ago, when I was young and my brother was even younger, Daddy went to Japan to be a soldier. We couldn't go with him because there was no place for us to live. Daddy lived in a tent and he wrote wonderful letters telling us about Japan. He told us about the Japanese children he saw, dressed up for a holiday in their embroidered kimonos. On their feet they wore getas, which clicked as they walked. He told us about the flowering cherry trees and Mount Fujiyama, and how silly he looked when he tried to eat with chopsticks for the first time. I wish I could have seen him. We wrote him too and told him everything that was happening at home. I told him about my birthday party and my new school, and I drew him a picture of the gypsy costume I wore for Halloween. Ricky sent Daddy a scribble picture of himself, dressed up like a cowboy. I wrote on the back to explain what it was. When Dinah had kittens, we named one Neko, which means cat in Japanese. We took pictures of the kittens to send to Daddy, and lots of pictures of us. In the middle of October, we baked Christmas cookies gingerbread men, Russian tea cakes, snickerdoodles, and we mailed the cookies to Japan. We sent Daddy's Christmas presents, too. Daddy wouldn't be home for Christmas. We did the Christmas things that we always do, but without Daddy. Ricky and I sprayed white snow on the windows while Mommy hung a wreath on the door. Uncle Steve helped us buy our tree. We set it outside the front door, where it would wait until Christmas Eve. We went downtown to see Christmas windows with Aunt Helen and our cousins. It began to snow big, lazy flakes as we were looking at the windows. When we got home, a wooden box frosted with snow was sitting on the stoop. It was addressed to all of us and stamped, Do not open until Christmas. It was from Daddy. The box was too big to shake. Mommy put it in the floor of the hall closet. It was exactly as tall as my red rubber boots. Sometimes I forgot Daddy wouldn't be home for Christmas, but every time I opened the closet, I remembered. On Christmas Eve, we brought the tree indoors. Soon the whole house smelled like pine. We hung our stockings by the door because we didn't have a fireplace. We went to the children's service at our church. We sang our favorite carol, Hark the herald angels sing, and we sang, Silent night. That's Daddy's favorite. It was so hard to fall asleep that night. Everything in the house was waiting for Christmas. Ricky woke me as soon as the sun began to come up, and we ran downstairs. The stockings bulged with mysterious lumps. The tree glittered and shone, presents piled beneath it in a wonderful confusion. The wooden box was under the tree now. We emptied our stockings before we unwrapped any presents. This year, it took a long time to get to the tangerine and the toe. All of us, even Mommy, kept looking at the wooden box. It was the first present we opened. Inside was Japan. There were kimonos for Ricky and me, clicky gettas to wear with them, perfume fans painted with pictures of blossoming cherry trees, and Mount Fujiyama, chopsticks to eat with, a boy doll for Ricky, and a girl doll for me, and lots of presents for Mommy, too. But the best present was for all of us, a photo album filled with pictures of Daddy. Ricky and I sat on either side of Mommy as she turned the pages. Daddy is with us this Christmas, I said. Isn't he? Yes, Mama said, smiling. I hope we're with him, too, said Ricky. We never threw away that wooden box. When Daddy came home from Japan, he gave it hinges and wheels so Ricky and I could keep our toys in it. Over the years, the box was used to store all kinds of things, magazines and sewing supplies and Daddy's tools, but no matter what it held, we always called it the Christmas box. The end. <laughs>